Princess Diana on this day gave a controversial interview where she admitted that she had an affair with someone else other than her husband. Uh, the intriguing part of all of this is the husband had a long-standing affair with someone else. But today in history, um, let's see the BBC report on this. In 1995, Diana admits adultery in TV interview. Uh, Diana, Princess of Wales, spoke openly for the first time about her separation uh, from the Prince of Will in a frank interview um, for the BBC's Panorama program. Now, during that long um, conversation, she admitted to having an affair with Martin Bashir, um, who had already outed her. And then being the, there's a part that just gave me an idea how she felt that uh, let me see if i can find the word um uh, let me see if i can find the word that she asked about her relationship um oh, with mr story, um, bashir um she said yes were you unfaithful she said yes um, and then she said, but I was let down. She said she was in love with a man, uh, but I was let down. Um, I, I really don't, um, it's a complicated situation. Uh, the more you read about it, you get to find out how, you know, the whole marriage was constructed, how, you know, at some point they said she needed to, you know, go through psychiatric evaluation to see if she was fit. Initially, they said she wasn't fit to be queen and she admitted that she... I mean, she Never doesn't really want to be a queen um, whatsoever. But what I find intriguing is, did the husband also admit to adultery? Because they were under an umbrella of marriage, but both were living separate lives until they chose to separate. Uh, we so, do know that there was a backlash, a huge backlash after that interview. Yeah. Even the person that conducted the, the, the um, uh, media person that helped her organize that interview was sacked. I don't know the name. So, uh, so, so let me let me just quickly chip in here. I, I think you made a um, little error that the the BBC um, um, correspondent who conducted the interview was Martin Bashir. She cheated on um, she cheated on a marriage with her riding instructor James Hewitt. Oh yes, yes, um, Mr. Hewitt. Yes, you yes, know, and yes. and also um, Prince Charles had already confirmed that he, you know, there was already reports of him admitting to being in um, a relationship with uh, Camilla Parker um, Bowles, who eventually got married to in 2005. Um, this interview happened in 1995. In 1996, um, that was when they eventually then got divorced. The queen gave her, you know, blessings for their divorce and wanted it to be, you know, a small thing. Princess Diana was only then meant to lose the title of her royal highness, um, but of course she was still going to be known as Princess Diana, Princess of Wales and um, all of that. Um, she continued, um, and, and it's one of the challenges that I feel that the royal family had with her as a person, because she never was willing to play by the books of the royal family. She was always willing to step out and do the things that she wanted to do. So after their divorce, they continued, of course, as Princess Diana and Prince Charles. Um, she continued, of course, got in more involved in uh, politics, started making trips to Africa, started making some political statements. And then later on, um, of course, um, a year later was when uh, revelations started coming about her um, relationship with Dodi al Fayed, um, uh, son of a, uh, I think is an Egyptian billionaire. Um, they both died together, you know, that fateful That very in, uh, infamous um, uh, car crash. But um, what, my take on all of this really, um, relationships are very personal, they're very um, um, sentimental. Um, your rational mind doesn't always come to play all the time when you are in relationship. Yes, people will say, be rational. Or you see over the years that emotions rule. Emotion is the reason you marry in the first instance, though sometimes so there are other considerations. And then when you marry, you have to try your utmost to make sure it works. In their case, she, she was She was 19 when, when she got married. She, she, she was, she she was, was a child. finding herself yes. in the marriage, uh, unfortunately. Prince, Prince Charles, I believe, was uh, 30 um, at that time when, he, when they got married. Um, it, it started off as a fairy tale wedding. It started off as the fairy tale, you know, idea of marriage. But over time, you know, she oh, just couldn't even, fit even into that box. Even before then, there were, there were, there were, you was know, created comments. for her. Yeah, even before then, there were. And comments. the pressure from from the English media also, you know, on her was was insane. The same thing that 
um, Harry mm -hmm. and Meghan are currently dealing with. Um, Princess Diana just couldn't fit into that box that was created for them. Eventually, of course, you know, the, the, the part where I started going further was reading about her death and the accident and what caused it, very similar to what happened with the Lecky shootings. And, and that is the part where during the uh, panel of inquiry, uh, the LCC uh, representative, I believe, said that the camera stopped working. Um, French authorities also said that the cameras stopped working <laughs> uh, into that tunnel 11 p.m. the night before. And so there was no footage about how they got into the tunnel. There was no footage about what the speed that they were on. They blamed her death on her driver's intoxication. Apparently, um, according to them, it was three times above the legal limit um, of alcohol. Her blood wasn't tested after she was... Uh, this, is, this is according to a report. I, I, can't, I don't have to verify it. Yeah, but it, it, the most after important thing dead, for also, me is... Princess Diana lived her life towards the end in her own terms. Absolutely. She lived her life as best as she could. I mean, what more can you ask of any person? There will always be expectation. The world will always demand something from you. But what are you demanding um, from yourself? That's basically what happened with Princess Diana. She lived her life. She celebrated for the good works that she did outside of her marriage. Uh, she, she wasn't, um, I mean, I think she even became more famous after the, you know, the whole thing um, went down a hill. Uh, not to say that people shouldn't make efforts to keep their home, but when two people are living two separate lives. He, wa he wasn't, I mean, I, I, I don't even know if I can blame her. Um, she also wanted happiness. There were rumors that she was pregnant for Dodie L. Fayed. Um, but he, uh, Prince Charles, already was in another relationship with, with uh, Camilla, who eventually got married to in 2005. So I don't really blame her, you know, for feeling that way. I feel like she felt like she was caged in a box um, that the real yeah, family had created for her. And she, she, had, she needed, a, you know, a way to truly express who she was. Um, and, of course, that happened later in life. If you also remember, a year before she died, she had put out information to um, her solicitor, a lawyer, I believe, to say that she feared for her life and that um, she was very likely going to be killed uh, in a car accident and some other things like that. But yeah, that, let, that, me, that, let me, let me, on a cherry note, I, I'd rather focus on her life. Uh, there is still on that report from the BBC, uh, there's a part where they captioned Queen of Hearts with your, um, please uh, crave your indulgence, read this. She said, she also said she did not think she would ever be queen. I mentioned this earlier. I'd like to be a queen of people's heart, in people's hearts but I don't see myself being queen of this country. I don't think many people will want me uh, to be queen. Uh, but the part that I want us to take is she is a queen in people's hearts. Absolutely. And her, her sons will always remember her. Um, um, the, the one that's married to uh, Meghan now, Harry, I Harry. believe, um, is very emotional every time he talks about uh, his mother. So people say yes. that he he got you know a lot of his character from his mother. You yeah, know, yeah, that's a lot. Uh, that's uh, something people character. say. So uh, Princess Diana lived her life. Unfortunately, today she admitted to um, being with someone else aside from her husband, who on the other hand was also being with someone else. So um, I don't know what we should be calling it um, in in this instance, but that's what happened today. Uh, in, in, um, in history. Uh, you can see on your screen the amicable uh, divorce that eventually took place uh, between uh, the couple. And um, I mean, they went on, uh, Prince Charles is still alive with his uh, wife, who is uh, about uh, 73 now. There's, there's three persons whose deaths have, sh you know, shook the world. Princess Diana, Michael Jackson, and for me, the third would be Robin Williams. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.